Yo guys, we're we're in Vienna Airport, just heading to the boot camp. So if this is the first entry, and uh, yeah, I have two flights uh, during which I will be announced to the team. So by the time you're watching this, I'm already signed with Apex. Um, pretty excited stuff. Boot camp is gonna take two or three weeks, so there's a plenty of stuff to shoot. But yeah, uh, we will see how it goes. This is first time I'm trying this though, so uh, we will see and. I'll get back to you. Uh, and my thought is you guys just talk a bit about what you want, um, write some stuff down uh, with Martin, and then we discuss everything when I get back, and we write down some key stuff on the board. Okay, boys. Yes, sir. If you have something, you can say it now. The only good thing is I think everyone needs a certain amount of sleep. Sure. Because if you wait, if you play the four in the morning and you crack at nine, you're fucked. Yeah. Your day will be fucked and everyone can tell. Yeah. I think a good amount of sleep is key. It's one of the things that we need to talk about. Punctuality is pretty important. If it's done under under like one minute, just do it instantly. Yeah. It's gonna be so much easier for you. You don't have this stress that you have to do a list of things to do. Yeah. You're just instantly picking it up and that's it. There's no point in us being fake towards each other. Like, there's no point in me, like, you know, telling Martin that uh, something like he farts when before he goes to sleep. Like, there's no point in me not telling him, like, can you please stop? We're here to be a really good team and we're here to work well together. And obviously, like, we can't be friends. Like, it's not like I'm not saying we can't be friends, but like, honesty should come before anything else. Like, I. I don't want anyone to like stop saying anything because they want to be friends with each other. When you play on a team, it's like having four wives. Yeah, like you kind of have to communicate to to us like you do to your girlfriend. So like use each other, but always bring stuff up. Don't go holding it uh, inside. Give the criticism in a good way. Like give it in a constructive way, of course. But also when you receive criticism. Remember that it's never personal. Like we all have the fellas, <laughs> the, the same goal of yeah. uh, of getting to the top. You know? We want to be the best. And every criticism you get is just to try to improve the team and improve you. But you have to keep that like <laughs> motivation and that like fire for as long as we can, so we don't like use it all up within the first week. I don't know anything about gaming. I can tell you that <laughs> that I have done the sports all my life. So I didn't know a lot about how to think and uh, how to create uh, the right culture for, uh, for development. So everything around, uh, I think I can maybe help you a bit. But if you want to be the best players in the world, I know what that means. <laughs> I think this is cool. I am really looking forward to this. I worked in cross-country skiing for 47 years and a lot of other sports. But I think Airport now. This is. I'm really looking forward to this. Getting the English today as well. Hello, Martin. Yo, yo. The sound consumes. Get the ill style and the shit go. Are we winning today? Yes. Okay. Yes. Every man, every woman hype on a track. Face me freak and get the shit we speak. Check out this. How he plays. Wait, wait, have you seen how he holds his keyboard? How do you crouch? You take your thumb in between your hands to crouch. What? You know, everyone did like this, I remember. Like using their uh, little finger like this. I do that. But, uh, yeah, no, everyone, everyone did it, but I always did this. It was easier. It's easier for you, yeah? Yeah. You wanna have like carpal too, or something? No. It's my favorite accessory for gamers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, show, show me one round. You're gonna flame it. One HP. How much damage? <laughs> hey guys, um, actually let me put this away. So we're at the Sora Hotel, uh, Sora Mora, whatever it's called. I'm probably saying it wrong, but uh, we're here for two days. We're gonna talk with Thomas. He, he won a gold medal in Olympics for uh, cross-country skiing and, uh, for Norway, multiple times actually and he's working with Apex as a guy that is helping the team and our Rebels team develop uh, mental uh, fortitude and stuff like that. 
and uh, we are here with him for two days and his colleague uh, to talk about you know team stuff how to make it actually work yeah we're gonna we're gonna have some kind of a seminar with him and uh, I'm really excited honestly because this is something that I love to talk about especially on this channel as well I think it's important to teach young players how to do things correctly or behave correctly in order to maximize their you know career potential they should play well uh, as a part of that as well I'm gonna try to shoot as much as possible obviously um, there's gonna be a lot of stuff a lot of technical stuff in theory which is might be pretty boring but I'm gonna try to sum it up as, as best as I can in uh, uh, in the video or maybe I'll make a separate video on that as well because I just went out of the first part of the seminar and uh, it was really exciting. Uh, yeah, I, I learned a lot of new stuff and I'm pretty sure my teammates did as well. I'm looking forward to these two days. Uh, hopefully it can be as good as, as the first two hours that we had so far. So yeah, um, talk to you soon. Can say hi. Oh yeah, I was gonna say hi as well. This is the man. Now that we are new, I think it's really important just to get a feeling. I like how this guy's thinking. I will acknowledge it, and then he will do it more. I still want someone to remind, oh, uh, Tim, you need to flash this. Even though he already has flash lined up. It's creating a habit as well. Yeah, and I think it's important for the person who is having a specific role in a certain tactic. Even though you 100% know what your role is and what you're supposed to do in this round, it makes it so much safer for everyone to like hear it. Yes, we need a leader, leader but it doesn't need to be one person. Yeah, yeah. It can also be Jokic, it can be Martin, it can be Rubo. Like everyone yeah. can lead us to be champions. Do we always need someone to like lead? Or should it sometimes be like an open oh, yeah. forum? Okay, yeah, in that way. We're not leader dependent, I like, would we, say. We need a leader when we work specific on uh, CS, but like in other yeah. like, social collections though, I don't think we need a leader. Yeah. I think we should all be able in, in those situations. Thank you very much. I'm gonna make you sign this as well, and you rebels as well. Bless you, brother. Oi! You're not on the camera, don't worry. I will cut it out, definitely. No, it's fine. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Bye bye. Take care, Thomas. Bye bye. Yes, see ya. <laughs> what did you say? Illegal stuff. Illegal. <laughs> Is that the competitor? Only for commercials. Only for Only commercials, for commercials. Yeah. Red Bull sponsor, maybe? Oh my god, look at this guy. Yeah, we're gonna do that as well. I've never skied. No, so that's fun. You've never skied? For, for a Swedish, that's weird. <laughs> I live in South Park, it's not the word. Oh, okay. We can do like this, you can, I can take you out for ski and then you can uh, show me how to play CS and I can yes. try to play and you can come there and come out. Yes. Yeah. Sounds like a deal. See you tomorrow. See ya. Yeah, see ya. How you felt about the weekend, real quick? I think it was really interesting. I learned a lot of new stuff. I think it was good for our team. Yeah, learning about everyone and uh, how we think and uh, hearing our thoughts and arguments, I think it was great. I really like the St. Bernard, uh, you know, the lion and the, what was that, old? The owl, that yeah. We thought you were and then you were somewhere else and then we scale it. It was really interesting. I think sure. it was really fun weekend. Take care, brother. You too, bro. All right, so we're, so we're finished with the boot camp here uh, in Oslo with... Uh, uh, with leaders and um, yeah it's been pretty exhaustive two days but uh, we, we I think we learned a lot when it comes to leadership and how to behave in a team and team environment because a lot of young players that are coming up in the scene are really struggling with dealing with others and trying to take criticism the right way and uh, as well as giving constructive criticism they just straight up tilt or you know they're angry at each other but uh, that's not the way at least not in uh, team sports such as CS and 
it can get rough because a lot of young players are involved and uh, they don't really have the understanding how to deal with that. So uh, I'm really glad that we took this course and even though we're not really as young players as uh, some other teams have. Uh, I mean, we have Chelsea, which is like 16 years old, so he's pretty young obviously, but others are pretty experienced. Uh, I think all of us learned really valuable lessons and uh, it's been exhaustive, uh, but it's been pretty active two days that we did like certain team tasks. Um, like imagine imaginative scenarios or, or the stories that we have to deal with and uh, there wasn't really a correct answer to it but uh, you have to make up your own answer, argument it the right way and uh, present it to others, try to convince them or uh, try to get convinced or pursue it. So all these things are really valuable uh, qualities that teammates should have, especially communication skills because as soon as one of the players in the team stops with this, um, it's really easy to fall into the trap where the team is just straight up dying and um, it's not as, you know, hyped, uh, I guess, and uh, they're not really together or working together. So I'm really glad that this course is really molding the best out of the players. We had here the Rebels team as well, which is our academy team and they're much younger so they are uh, only on the path to, to the pro careers but uh, those guys seemed really open-minded to everything we did here and uh, try to help them as obviously being older and experienced and they take it took it really well so props to everyone involved and um, yeah it's been an amazing experience i'm pretty sure i will do a few further videos on similar tasks that we did uh, because I feel like it needs to be public for these younger players to get some knowledge from. Uh, I'm not personally expert in this area, so I definitely needed some uh, some course like this to happen or experience uh, in order to be able to teach it to you through the videos and through this channel as well. So I hope I did my best to remember it and write it down all important aspects and uh, yeah I'll see what I can do and uh, I'll just bring it closer to you guys yeah take care Apex, we're gonna play Gamer Legion and my good friend uh, Zero as well uh, in the first round of some Pinnacle Swiss system. We've had so far like five or six days of bootcamp, which was honestly pretty repetitive. I didn't uh, shoot that much content because it was first of all very exhausting. Uh, we're going over a lot of stuff to get the fundamentals done, you know. And then second of all, it has not been enough time to go over all the maps, so we will have to a little bit uh, gamble in the Vita. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm pretty sure we are still confident and skilled enough to win this game, even though they're probably the hardest opponents we could have drawn, but uh, even if we lose, it doesn't really matter. But we're aiming for the 3-0 score in the first system, first Swiss system, to get to the main stage. Uh, yeah, we just did some anti-strat on them, uh, on the maps that we think uh, are going to be played. Uh, I didn't want to 
I actually wanted to show a little bit how we do the anti-strad, but um, I was really focused what uh, what is being said, and uh, as well share my thoughts what I think how they play and uh, what I know from previous teams, and uh, therefore I a little bit forgot. But I made some clips that I may share uh, hopefully. I don't know, um, you know, anti-strad is pretty private, so um, I don't want to reveal too much how we work, etc because everyone's a little bit different and uh, people might get a little upset about it. But uh, yeah, uh, that's the update. We're gonna play and uh, we'll see how it goes and then get back to after the game or maybe in between the maps. I don't really know how the time will tell. You know, I'm amateur vlogger, so who the hell knows? See ya. I'm hiding side for us. City kit. One has to come city. And he will have kit. I'm full hiding. I'm full hiding. I'm not taking. I'm not taking. Yeah. I pick a timing. One on the city spawn. One city as well. One close to city. City and ramp, I think. Yeah, city and ramp last two. Could be on top. Default plus, guys, carry. Yeah. I will hold the city cross. You know? Yeah. From con. Savage. This one? Savage. This one C4. Tagged. Defuser, defuser, defuser. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah. we're in the red building. Just never stand up there. Man. Yeah. I'm with you, Master. I can take first contact from Broken. Yeah, yeah. Take a water to Please wait. Five. Two, two more, two more. I'm hiding boost. Two. Just wait. Two. Two. They have kids on Temple. Corner plant. Temple. Five Nice. Kid is on the phone. Nice! nice team! You're so fucking good, man! Let's go. Let's get it! Woo! If they rush, I'm gonna stay yes, in the corner stay to the left. Stay on the left. If they yes, rush, yes, yes. If they don't, I go right. Fine. What's I'm your rushing. thing? I go right. Fine. One left. Beat the 50. The he's not out, not out, not out. One out, one out. He's, he's holding you, he's holding you. Okay. okay. I'm going I'm, here. I'm I'm double click this? I can flash. Yeah. Flash yeah. here, Martin. See. I go flash here again, Martin. He's holding that. Got one, more. one more. He's not gonna fight. He's not gonna fight. I'm gonna run. Red quiet. Picking mid. 50, I think. But no Kevlar on A. Yeah, next box. I'm walking behind coming the main. main. Last time last time. I'm 50, walking behind the main. Stay alive if you want. I'm gonna pick him with. It's not out yet. Yeah. Out now. Nice. Stick, Martin. Good shit. Mark, you're a beast. We just won the game against um, Masonic yesterday. We lost against Game Religion. That was our first game, our debut, and fucked it up. But uh, it was a close game. We could have won definitely. And they're top 30 team in the world. We had chances to close it out, uh, but they also had chances to make it a little bit. Uh, smoother for them. So glad that we showed up and we bounced back today in the morning match, which is always hard to play. Uh, but we had a smooth 2-0 win right now on Ancient and uh, Vertigo. We're still testing our map pool because yesterday it didn't go too good. So yeah, back to practice and the next game tomorrow. Not sure against whom yet, but yeah, that's it. Yo Oscar, where are we going? We are gonna go play paddle tennis. It's what is what nice. is paddle tennis? Can you explain it real quick? It's a combination of tennis and squash, I would say. Okay. Look it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna Google it right now for viewers <laughs> and edit it in. Don't worry. You, know, you played it before? One time. Okay. Okay. So you're experienced. One. I got some uh, coaching by my cousin. He plays a lot. A lot. Hopefully, he's not gonna beat me. Bro. Hello. Hey. I played your ball. No, they're under no pressure. Game, no gameplay now. 
They're under pressure when we're filming, yeah, apparently. Yeah. Today we actually went for a little bit of a team building activity, we played paddle. Um, it was quite fun, first time for me that I've played this, this sport. Well, it's quite popular here in Norway it seems. Uh, there, were, there, there were a lot of people you know, coming in, coming out of the, of the court or whatever you call it. But uh, yeah, it's been pretty fun, good team building there. Um, we played a couple of games. A little tournament which uh, our coach Poli won. Congrats to him. I think he deserved it. But uh, yeah, another update is that we unfortunately, I'm, as you can see, I'm alone in the room right now because there's uh, one room is empty because Tim Nock he had a family emergency and he had to travel home. So uh, we obviously allowed uh, him to do it and um, he's gonna join us on the officials and practice from home and once the situation is resolved um, he's gonna fly back here to Norway to us. Um, let's hope it's as soon as possible. So that's a little update that you're not gonna see him in, uh, in the videos or vlog as much right now because he's not here with us. Uh, it's just personal stuff, I don't want to go deep into it because I myself didn't ask too, much, too many questions about it. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's the situation and um, that's how we dealt with it. Uh, I'm gonna go back to office right now and watch some games. Uh, play a little bit because tomorrow is another day, another official. Uh, not uh, sure against who we're playing uh, right now. It wasn't drawn yet, but... Uh, it's gonna be a tough game, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of good teams in one one pool which we're currently in and uh, we need to get that win to get that comfortable 2-1 lead and then we need to close it out, close it out in one more game so uh, we move to main, uh, main Swiss of Pinnacle. So let's do it, that's our main focus right now. Uh, we're trying to fix things on the fly, add things on the fly. We're doing our best so take care. Uh, I'm doing entry flash. Flashing one. Trading, 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 trading. Yeah. Left behind. Okay. I can do it. Go, 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 go. Go to go. Nice. I'm planting. Last one could also be flanking. Flanking? Yeah. Flanking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fourteen. I have. I have behind. He's flashing. He's flashing. I'm blind. I have. I have toilets. Okay. With a from the office. Nice. Nice. Good. Nice initiative there. A few things before we go live. Yeah. Uh, their positions. On the city side, Smek and Modo place A. Modo is the upper. Smek is the guy who starts on the ground, remember Hugo? And he will push yeah. it if he thinks it's clear. Adron is playing Monster, Swifter is the other B player, and Geo Hype is the rotation. Uh, <clears throat> two things to keep in mind, key things. Uh, one on the city side. If the op is holding long passively, like from bank or from the swat or something, or from the sign, there's always one guy cafe, okay? So if we do TSM and Tim spots him all the way back, there is for sure gonna be someone close, okay? Oh, yeah. uh, <clears throat> and they had uh, one B pop that you should be aware of. Like they have the standard ones, right? Like the monster explosion and stuff. But they, had, they had one when they, they walked three people short pipe and they listened for when our lower guy spams underground. So when you ask for example jump, you need the door, you jump, and then you start spamming, then they walk out. Oh, okay. And then they insta flash and push bridge. They smoked under I'm only can't go out yet. Oh just spam a low in mid. We can go out to go. Come on. Yeah. Big show over me. They reach one monster. Three, two, one. We they can't go out short. Yeah, yeah. That's fine, we walk out short now. You want flash? No, no. Oh just wait. Try. He's jump checking, I think. I'm picking him. I have under. Oh. I'm gone. Third smoke monster. Okay. This is a deep one. I'm close short. I can body rain after and do it. Three kills side, okay? Yeah. One, one around. That's under. Nice. A player. 
Okay, maybe they will push monster now. Uh, I will be ready to run you. Yeah, be ready Number team one. as well. I'm still smoked off. I'm still smoked Number off. Number one, yeah. I smoked us. Do it. Sure that. Sure that. Do it. Nice. One more B. B. One more B. I'm not in. I'm not in. Go monster to go. Go monster to go. I smoked them. Everyone monster. Everyone monster. I'm flashing. I'm walking a long ago. Let me go first. I'm low HP. I'm gonna flash. Flash one pillar now. Bank. Nice. Dead. Nice. Uh, upper, usually, upper. Eh? Yeah, but uh, just trade, I, I, trade, I, I trade, need, trade. I need a little bit of time. Wait, wait. I think you can run your game. If he's here, we win in the round. I'm all in lower. I don't see him. I'll just kill him. I don't see him on A long. Alright. He's now. running out Mace. Coming yeah. after you. Okay, okay, okay. You cast long. Joachim doesn't see him, he's either banana or still somewhere maze A side. Yeah, I think he's... There we go. Nice, we have a... We have a good round, guys. Let's, <laughs> let's do it again. We're 2-2 in Pinnacle. We lost one game to ECQF, but just won one game against... One tab. Uh, so we're gonna head, head into the... Last game. If we win, we move through. If we lose, we go out. We'll see how it goes, but we're playing that tomorrow. But we have unfortunately some uh, bootcamp update that we're going to print early. And by early, I mean either tomorrow or day after we're traveling home due to COVID. Uh, none of us players got COVID. That's good. But a lot of people around us in the office, in the Apex management, got it. And it is. Uh, called by management to send the players home for their best, you know, uh, best interest to to stay healthy. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna finish the game tomorrow, and then we're gonna. <clears throat> I'm sorry, we're gonna finish the game tomorrow, and we're gonna head back to to our home countries and uh, play the rest of the tournament if we advance through uh, from home. Uh, yeah, this update is pretty unfortunate because the bootcamp was basically cut down short by by a half. So we've been here only for a couple of days and uh, one week basically mm, got cancelled. Uh, which is a shame because I think it was a very productive bootcamp, but I'm pretty sure we can still manage to do just fine from home. Uh, but yeah, that means that, that this vlog is surely coming to an end soon. But uh, there's still one more important game to be played. And uh, yeah, that's it, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I forgot anything. But uh, it's just that it's a little bit unfortunate. But uh, that's, there's nothing really we can do. And we have to respect this decision. The COVID situation in Norway isn't uh, too good either. So uh, yeah. We're gonna travel home and stay safe there. Okay, bye-bye.